Hey boys and girls, um, it's Monday. Um, we were in school together today, but I'm going ahead and videotaping some of the Jeannie B books. And I'm starting with Jeannie B, First Grader, Toothless Wonder. Chapter one is called Prizes. Friday. Dear First Grade Journal, Today we, have, we are having a speaker in room one. She is going to tell us all about recycling. Recycling is when you wash your trash, I think. Mr. Scary said to write in our journals till the speaker gets here. Only, I don't even feel like writing today because I have a loose tooth, that's why. And that thing is driving me crazy. Also, every time I write in this journal, I have to look up words in the dumb dictionary. Except sometimes Mr. Scary spells the words on the board for us and then I have to cross out my mistakes. Plus, also, I erase holes in my paper. Spelling is not a breeze, I tell you. That is all I feel like writing today, and I'm done with this thing, and I mean it. Junie B, first grader. Here's a picture. I put down my pencil and I opened my mouth, and then I reached my finger in and I wiggled my tooth. That thing has been loose for a very long time. Only no matter how hard I wiggle it, it still won't come out. I pulled on it a teensy bit. Ow! That hurts, you dumb bunny tooth, I said. May turned her head and looked at me. May sits next to me in room one. She is not a pleasure. You shouldn't say dumb bunny, Junie Jones. She said dumb bunny is not a nice word. I raised my eyebrows at that girl. Oh, really, I said? Well, thank you for telling me that, dumb bunny May. Just then, May's face got puffy and red. Don't say that word, I told you, she hollered. My teacher stood up at his desk. Problems back there, girls, he asked. Yes, Mr. Scary, said May. There's always a problem back here, and her name is Junie Jones. I stomped my foot at that girl. B, May, I said, B, 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 you're always forgetting my B. Mr. Scary closed his eyes. Please, girls, can't we just have one morning without any spats? I looked surprised at that man. But I didn't even say spat, Mr. Scary. I said, my mother doesn't let me spat, not even on the sidewalks. After that, I went up to his desk and I smiled very cute. I have a loose teeth, I said. Would you like to see it, Mr. Scary, huh, would you? I opened up my mouth and I wiggled it for him. See it? See how loose it is? It's a loosey-goosey, isn't it? I said. He smiled. Wow, that really is loose, Junie B, he said. And it's a top tooth, too. Losing a top tooth is the best. I looked puzzled at him. It is? How come it's the best, Mr. Scary, I asked. Is a top tooth funner than a bottom tooth, do you mean? Because last year I lost a bottom tooth and I didn't actually get a kick out of it. My teacher did a chuckle. Ah, but when you lose a top tooth, your smile looks really cute, Junie B, he said. And when your new tooth comes in, you'll start looking like a big kid. I did a gasp at that news. A big kid? Really? I'm going to look like a big kid? Mr. Scary nodded. Sure you are, he said. Here, I'll show you what I mean. He looked around the room. Class, does anyone in here have their big top teeth yet? If so, raise your hand, he said. All of the children looked and looked at each other, but nobody raised their hand. Mr. Scary was surprised. Really? He said. No kidding. No one in our class has lost a top front tooth, huh? He turned around and shook my hand. Well, congratulations, Junie B. Jones. He said, it looks like you're going to be the first person in room one with a big top tooth. I felt very thrilled. Thank you, I said. Then I skipped back to my seat and I sat down real proud. May did a huffy breath at me. Big deal. What's so special about losing a top tooth, she said. Everyone in our whole room is going to lose their top teeth, Junie Jones. It's not like you're the only one, you know. 
I did a huffy breath right back at that girl. Yes, May, I know I'm not the only one, I said, but I am the first one. And the first one is the winner, so there, ha-ha on you. May crossed her angry arms. Well, if you're the winner, then where's your prize, huh, Junie Jones? I don't see a prize, do you? I tapped my fingers, kind of stomped. Then I hurried back to my teacher's desk again, and I patted him on the shoulder. Okay, here's the thing, I said. The children are wondering where's my prize for being the tooth winner. And so, how would you like to handle this situation? Mr. Skeery did not answer right away. Finally, he shrugged. Well, the truth is, there aren't any prizes, he said. I wasn't exactly running a contest, you know. Yeah, I know, I said, but I bet you could still come up with a little something to make me happy. I pointed at his desk drawer. I bet there's something in there, probably, I said. Teachers always have good stuff in their desk drawers, right? And so, why don't we take a look and see? Mr. Scary ran his thing fingers through his hair. Then, at last, he opened his drawer. Whoa, is that a stapler, I see? A stapler would be good, don't you think? could really pound that thing, I bet. And so, if you'll just hand it over, I'll be on my way. Mr. Scary shook his head. No, Junie B. He said, no, Stapler. I looked some more. Hey, hold the phone, I said. Is that Tom's I'm looking at? I leaned closer. Yes, yes, it is Tom's, Mr. Scary. You've got Tums, just like my Grandpa Miller, and so I bet you suffer from gas and bloating. Am I correct? Mr. Scary quick closed the drawer. Then he went to the supply closet, and he got out a piece of shiny silver paper, and he scribbled a star. He cut it out and pinned it on my shirt. There, he said. That's your prize for your tooth, okay? You get to wear a shiny star for being the winner. Now, please go back to your seat. I looked down at my star. Yeah, I don't actually think this is your best work, I said, kind of quiet. Mr. Scary pointed to my desk. He was not having a good morning, I think. I went back and sat down. May sneaked a peek at my star. I tried to act real proud of it. Well, 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 what do you know? A prize, I said. May did a, bad, a mad breath and quick turned away. And I looked down at my star again. This time, I looked prettier, I think. Here's the picture. And tomorrow we will read chapter two, Uncle Lou.